you already have some GIS data files, then you can use the import menu to add that information to your map. These GIS files might come from another office in your city, your engineer, or even another GIS program that you previously used. Your map has the ability to import a few popular file formats. The shapefile format was created by ESRI and has been the industry standard file format for exchanging data between GIS systems for a few decades. The KML, or sometimes KMZ file, was made popular by Google Maps and is another popular file format for exchanging data between applications. And thirdly, the CSV file, which is a simple spreadsheet file that is commonly used to store a list of points. Most GPS receivers have the ability to export their data to a CSV file. The file must contain columns defining either the longitude or latitude or state plane coordinates of each point. If you can obtain any GIS data in one of these three popular file formats, then you can import it into your map. This software also allows you to export data to any of these three file formats. We are going to walk through how to import a shapefile, but first let me briefly describe these other, less common import options. You can read more about these in the help file. The DML file format is used only by this software and is useful when some other agency who uses the same software wants to send you a layer file. Using this file format will preserve all of the special data features of this software. GPX files are commonly created by Garmin GPS receivers. The merge table allows you to merge spreadsheet data with an already existing layer on your map. See video 260 for an example of this. If you previously used any Delorme GIS software, you can import its data using this option. And if you have a spreadsheet that defines the coordinates for the start and end of each line segment, this is not common, then the import CSV lines can bring that data into your maps. Another popular file format not listed here is the ESRI Geo database. The help file has documentation on how you can download our free GDB Tools app to import or export a file geo database or personal geo database. The shapefile is still probably the best, most common way that you might receive data from someone, so let's walk through it. To do this, go to the menu, select Import a Layer, then select Shapefiles. As the instructions say here, you have to actually select four files. A layer in the form of a shapefile is really a set of files and you have to select all four files that make up a set. An SHP, DBF, SHX, and a PRJ. Or you can select a single zip file that contains all four of those. So, if you click Choose Files here, then navigate through your file folder to find where yours is located. I have several different layers of files here. I want to scroll down and select my Hydrants files. making sure I grab the DBF, the PRJ, the SHP, and the SHX files. It's okay if I grab more than those, but I have to grab at least those four right there. Now we click open, and it automatically assigns the layer name based off of the name of the file. And I click import shapefile. Your four files combined have to be under 100 megabytes in size. If they're bigger, you might want to try zipping them up first and then uploading the zip file rather than the individual files. It says it's done, so if I close and go to my list of layers, I can see that it imported 75 features. And they're all here. If I want to click on one, it'll zoom in on it on the map. As you can see, that's a lot easier than drawing these things from scratch and that's how you import a layer.